Antonio Michael Tony Miola is an American former soccer goalkeeper who represented the United States national team at the 1990, 1994, and 2002 World Cups, and from 1996 to 2006 played in Major League Soccer, the U.S. top soccer division, where he obtained multiple honors. He currently plays for charity team Global United FC. Early life and soccer career, Miola, born in Belleville, New Jersey, grew up in Kearney, New Jersey and played boys soccer for Kearney High School, in Kearney, New Jersey. He learned his love for the game from his father, Vincenzo, who had played for Italian second division club Avellino before immigrating to the U.S. Tony was all state both as a goalkeeper and a forward. He had a part in 41 clean sheets and scored 42 goals during his high school career. In 1999, he was named by the Star Ledger as one of the top 10 New Jersey high school soccer players of the 1980s. Miola not only excelled at soccer, he was a three-sport varsity letterman. He was the captain of the school's basketball team and was named an All-State Baseball player in 1987. The New York Yankees drafted him out of high school. Miola later played in their farm system. College Miola attended the University of Virginia on a soccer baseball athletics scholarship. While at Virginia, he played under coach Bruce Arena. By the time he was playing for the Cavaliers, he had already begun to make a name for himself on the international scene. In October 1987, he backstopped the U.S. U-20 national team at the 1987 FIFA World Youth Championship. One. He earned first-team All-American honors both his freshman and sophomore years. He also won the Herman Trophy as a freshman in 1988 and the Mac Award as a sophomore in 1989. On December 15, 1989, he announced that he was leaving UVAR to pursue a career with the U.S. national team. He also was a varsity letterman for the UVAR baseball team. England Miola had signed with the U.S. Soccer Federation before the 1990 FIFA World Cup. Following the Cup, Miola signed on loan with English club Brighton and Hove Albion where he played 11 games, only two were league games. He gained his first start when he replaced the injured Perry Diggied and promptly won Man of the Match honors. On September 14, 1990, Miola was transferred to Watford before moving back to the U.S. He returned to the U.S. after he was unable to renew his work permit due to his inability to gain first-team time with Watford. Back in the States, in 1991, Miola played for the Fort Lauderdale Strikers of the American Professional Soccer League. He shared the goal with Arnie Moser. On December 14, 1994 Miola signed with the Buffalo Blizzard of the NPSL in the 1994-1995 indoor season. He became the team's starting keeper but on January 31, 1995, he announced that he had taken a lead role in the off-Broadway play Tony and Tino's Wedding. He played five more games with the Blizzard before leaving to join the cast on February 16. In February 1995, Miola joined the Long Island Rough Riders for its upcoming 1995 USISL season. That year the Rough Riders claimed the USISL championship. Major League Soccer Upon the creation of Major League Soccer, he was allocated to the NYNJ Metro Stars, for whom he played between 1996 and 1998, starting almost every game. However, before the league began play, he spent three weeks in February 1996 training with Italian club Parma. During his time with the Metro Stars, he set a league record with nine shutouts in 1996. He did not win the MLS Goalkeeper of the Year award. However, the honor went to Mark Dodd. Miola was traded to the Kansas City Wizards in 1999, but missed most of his first year in the Midwest due to injury. In 2000, Miola was named League MVP, Goalkeeper of the Year, and MLS Cup MVP as he led Kansas City to the championship. He set anew the league record by recording 16 shutouts. Miola played for the Wizards through the 2004 MLS season. That year, an injury forced him out of contention. Bo Oshanite took over the goalkeeping position, and Miola was not asked back for next season. He was then reacquired by the Metro Stars in June 2005. 
Miola was named to the MLS All-Time Best Eleven after the season. Following the 2006 season, Miola was waived by the team, now known as the New York Red Bulls. However, he signed a contract with the indoor New Jersey Ironman on August 14, 2007. National Team Miola made his U.S. National Team debut on June 10, 1988, against Ecuador. Miola's second cup came in a June 4, 1989 victory over Peru in the Marlboro Cup which won the U.S. The Cup. The team took the trophy to the Scots American Club in Kearney, New Jersey. After the party, Miola drove back to the team's hotel, dropped the trophy at the front desk and drove home. As he remembers it, a week later Doug Newman called me up and asked where the cup was. I told him I'd left it at for him at the hotel. I'm sure they got it back. Back then there weren't too many cups in U.S. soccer. Two, later in the summer, the national team went on a tour of Italy, playing several Serie A teams. At the time, David Vinol was the U.S. starter, but he and Miola had traded goalkeeper duties over the previous month as Vinol fought USSF on a contract dispute and attempted to get his burgeoning weight under control. U.S. coach Bob Ganzella intended to start Miola against A.S. Roma, but Miola was injured in a freak accident when a ball struck his head during practice. Vinol started in his place, but let in three weak goals in a 4-3 U.S. victory. 3. Ganzela benched Vinol, who never again played for the U.S., and turned toward Miola as his starting keeper. Miola went on to play the remaining U.S. qualifying games for the 1990 FIFA World Cup, including the famous 1-0 victory over Trinidad and Tobago which clinched a spot in the finals for the U.S. He then played every minute in goal for the U.S. in the 1990 FIFA World Cup. Miola remained the keeper of choice for the U.S. national team from 1990 through the 1994 FIFA World Cup. At the tournament, his play and ponytail made him a recognizable face around the country. After the U.S. lost to Brazil in the second round of the World Cup, Miola informed the U.S. coach Bo Romilutinovia that he intended to pursue a professional football career as a place kicker. Milutinovia never called Miola back to the U.S. team and it was not until January 1999 that Miola again played for the U.S. By that time, Casey Keller and Brad Friedel were competing for the starting goalkeeper spot on the team and Miola never regained the first team place he had enjoyed in the early 1990s. However, he continued to play for the U.S. and earned his 100th cap in 2006. He was the third-choice goalkeeper at the 2002 FIFA World Cup behind Brad Friedel and Casey Keller. Major Indoor Soccer League In July 2007 it was announced that Miola had signed with the New Jersey Ironman, an expansion team in the Major Indoor Soccer League. The team played in the New Prudential Center Arena in Newark, NJ. As starting goalie, Miola led the team to the playoffs in its first year. Non-Soccer Ventures Miola's non-soccer ventures include trying out as a place kicker with NFL's New York Jets in July 1994, appearing off-Broadway in Tony and Tina's wedding in 1995, and running his own mortgage firm. Tony Miola was the original drummer for New Jersey's cover band Mushmouth and still plays with the band on occasions. A soccer video game for the SNES with his name, Tony Miola's sidekick soccer, was released in 1993. Miola is now coaching his son's U-12 soccer club in Toms River, NJ. In 2012, Tony was inducted into the National Soccer Hall of Fame. Now lives in Toms River, New Jersey. He has three kids. Career statistics. Honors, United States, CONCACAF Gold Cup 1991, CONCACAF Gold Cup 2002 Individual Mills Goalkeeper of the Year, 2000, References.